Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're gonna be looking at how to use smoke elements and take them from looking like this to looking like this. So here's how you use these overlays. Drop them onto your footage, and if they have an alpha channel, they'll just be able to be used right from the get-go. No changes necessary. But if yours have a black background like mine here, then go up to Effect Controls, and select the blending modes under Opacity, and choose Screen. That's it. And if you're working in DaVinci Resolve, it's really similar. Just go up to your inspector, and under Composite Mode, choose Screen at the very bottom. And then finally, if you're working inside of Final Cut, navigate up to the inspector for that clip, and under Compositing, choose Screen. Now, that might be all the information you came for, and if so, cool. We hope it was really helpful. But there's so many more things you can do with these overlays than just clicking two or three buttons, so I'm gonna go over my personal favorite tips to getting the most out of these overlays. Number one, opacity. The first tip here is once you've set the blending mode to screen, drop down the opacity. Maybe it looks great at 100%, but chances are it'll blend a lot more naturally if you drop it down a little bit and make it less of the focus of what's going on. After all, you're probably going to be wanting to use it to enhance your footage rather than making it the center of attention. Just ask yourself if those smoke elements would really be that visible if you were standing there in real life. And toggle the eye symbol on the layer of the smoke element to quickly get a before and after perspective. Number two, duplicate your layers. But wait, what happens if you wanted to make your smoke more visible, even if you've already brought it up to 100%? Well, there's a simple solution. Just hold Alt or Option and click and drag it up to place the smoke directly on top of itself. The effect should be a lot more prominent, and now you can adjust the opacity of both of these layers individually to dial in a wider range of possibilities. And if you want to work with these as a single unit again, all you have to do is highlight both of them, right click, and nest them so that you can work with them as a single clip. Just make sure that when you do this, you go back up to effect controls and reset the blending mode back to screen so that it won't have a black background. Number three, match motion. For this one, we're talking about how you can actually match your footage to your smoke element when you're choosing it to start with. If you've got a sweeping helix vista shot with a lot of motion, but an overlay of smoke that's not really going anywhere, it's gonna look a little bit weird. Same if you have a shot that's locked off on a tripod, but the smoke overlay is just going crazy. Unless you've established a motive for it, it's gonna look like a mistake. So keep stationary shots to using smoke that's got very little motion. Another option is to use elements like this 120 frame per second pack and slow down the smoke so that it appears to be moving slower, lingering in the frame. Number four, match direction. For this one, you're gonna be wanting your smoke direction and the direction your camera is moving to be going in opposite directions, so that it looks like your smoke is more or less staying stationary and that your camera is doing the moving. Flipping your frame is gonna be your friend here. Let's say that you found a smoke element that's got the right kind of motion, but it's just moving in the wrong direction. If you want to have your smoke move in the opposite direction, all you have to do is drop in a flip vertical or flip horizontal effect from the effects folder. The best part here is that it's smoke, so nobody's going to be able to tell that it's been changed from the way that you downloaded it. Just make sure to play it back a few times and make sure that the motion looks natural. Number five, match color. Basically, you want the color and exposure of the smoke to look like it's actually belonging in the world that you're putting it in. With Lumetri Color, you can change up the characteristics of the smoke. But what can really save your bacon is changing the color with the hue versus hue curve under the curve section. You may think that smoke doesn't have any color to it, but you'd be pretty surprised. Based on how it was actually filmed, your smoke might have some coloring to it. Here, you can easily change that color of your smoke to look a bit more blue, more yellow, red, purple, or whatever you want. And more importantly, whatever looks more true to what's going on in your scene. If you've got a scene here with a very specific color dominating the frame, it might look moody or contrasty to have an opposite color of smoke, but it won't look believable. So slide the color bar here until you get a more realistic color to what's in your frame. If you wanted, you could go for something unrealistic or surreal, but just make sure that whatever you're doing, it's very intentional. And number six, mask bad edges. If for any reason, any reason, you have to drop that scale of your smoke layer below the size of your frame, maybe to make smoke play a practical role in your video, please, 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 please draw a mask around it and feather it like crazy so that it doesn't have these harsh edges showing up. 
making it obvious that it's cut off and not an original part of your scene. So here I'll draw a free Bezier mask around the elements that I'm only going to be using, and then feathering the mask a lot. But even when I feather, you can still see a little bit of the harsh edge here, so I'm just going to adjust the mask to make sure that doesn't show. And there we go, now we have an element that's properly integrated into our scene, making it really tough to tell that we've actually added anything to our scene at all. And guys, those have been my six tips to using smoke overlays more effectively. I hope it's been helpful and that you can really use these to enhance your projects. And if you need to grab more smoke elements for your video, you can always check out our selection right here at Motion Array. I'll make sure to link to some of our personal favorites. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you.